In Dishonored 1, periodically you get drawn into the void, the realm where the outsider lives. We get asked about the outsider a lot. He's obviously a mythic, enigmatic figure. And so we give you a little more detail on the outsider this time. His history, how he came into the world 4,000 years ago. He's a figure, neither good nor evil, who looks across time and space and is sometimes inactive for long periods of time. Empress Emily Caldwin, I am a friend of your father's from the bad old days. When there are people that he believes are gonna be pivotal to history, sometimes he selects them, offers them his mark, which grants him enormous supernatural powers. Burns from the inside. And then he's almost watching, expecting them cynically to abuse those powers. He seems obsessed with the abuse of power and how the powerful treat the powerless. The new version of The Outsider is definitely true to the character, but we assume that different people see him differently. Another surprise. So be it. We leave him to the players to infer, to interpret, but he's an interesting character. And then on top of that, the void itself is different. It's darker. It's a little more disturbing, perhaps. You never thought I'd be here again. This time, for Dishonored 2, we've tried to answer some of the questions that really gnawed at players the first time. But a big part of our philosophy is for every question we answer, we try to ask a new one. 